What's good, YouTube? This is your boy, Musilla's Fitness. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys through an upper body workout. As you guys know, my current split is push, pull, leg, rest day, upper, lower, rest day. Um, I'm loving it right now. This is week two, going really well. I just finished an upper body session today. This is not it, this is last week's session. Uh, but I'm going to take you guys through it, talk to you guys, give you some tips, all that stuff. Let's go. So the first exercise we have the decline press now i don't flat bench at all um if any actually no i don't flat bench at all even with dumbbells i do decline and incline why because i truly believe my chest has the mass but i want you know, i don't want to do under i want to get the upper chest even more so that's why my main focus right now is decline and incline press um, i superseded it with push-ups just to really exhaust the pectoral muscles a little bit further than just doing the thingy working weight um i did 80 kg max um that one pause i did 80 kg for then we gotta go to the program so they've been ready gotta go to the program okay we did 80 kg for 12 reps resets before that as you guys know i always warm up with the barbell first then i put 10 kg do a couple reps with that one 20 kg couple reps with that one now add another 10 kg 30 on each side doing the bar that's 80 so then that's when i start counting working reps before that i don't count those um but it is still exercise it's still working out but it's just for me to want to avoid injuries because now my muscles are warm they know i'm focused on the technique and stuff like that i'm ready to lift heavy stuff whereas some i see a lot of people come into the gym first thing they do is just straight max sets i'm like wait your body ain't even hot yet your, your joints ain't even lubricated and you're here going straight heavy like that's why a lot of people you see them in the gym but next thing you know you ain't seen them for a couple of months why because they injured themselves and then it's just effect it's no. No, no no the key is consistency so i've been training like that throughout my career i wonder why i've never been injured would but i train the right way you know warm up make sure your body's hot then you can start doing the heavy stuff um, and I do that literally with every exercise always do not every exercise the first two or three exercises I make sure I do like machine by itself or just a bar by itself because my body's still trying to get warm um, but as for like the exercises towards the end no need for warm up sets my body's hot you know, joints lubricated all that stuff um, I mainly focus on weight technique first and then obviously the weights and keeping the form perfect um, to most of my ability but yeah second exercise we have behind the neck press um, not many people have the mobility to do this exercise so if you're one of those ones um, don't do it you can do front press um, or you can use dumbbells but yeah it's all about mobility if you have the mobility to do it do it if not keep away from it because you don't want to injure yourself again with this one the second exercise I did start with just a bar and 10 kg i did the fives so 60 we did that also for 50 sorry we also did that for three sets um 12 reps and a rest period was like 90 seconds next exercise is the chest fly cd chest fly um they do have the machine but i prefer the cables that way because i can i can really see i'm going from high I can bring it in low to really squeeze the pectoral muscles um, compared to that machine where it's just one um, so I prefer doing this um, there's other people working out I've put it on the chair that's why it's shaky shaky in. but yeah I do like this one um, I actually do this exercise twice a week with this new program um, but yeah give it a go if you haven't tried it but it's really good uh, in and then last couple of reps really holding you can see the motion is the same I'm really trying to hold it Today we went for also heavy, heavy lateral raises. Um, lateral raises, I do quite a lot actually. Previous program I was doing it like three times a week. Um, in this program I do twice. So in my push day, I first push day, do it lightly. And in the upper body session, I do heavy. Yeah, a mixture of both. Um, and I alternate between standing and there was also they also have a machine in this gym one where you sit and you can lift 
that was really good that's the main reason why i go to this gym just to use that i used it today so i alternate between the two standing free weights and then a machine it's good to alternate between exercises um and just alternate i like doing that and a glitchy though why is this glitching <laughs> So we did that, that's 16 kg, pretty light, and then we went a little bit heavier. Just to again exhaust the muscles even more. My delts have come up a lot in the last year and a half. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's because I've been training delts way more often, giving it way more focus. My rear delts, mid middle head, front delts, really been giving it focus now. This drop set here, this is not for kids. I'm being this serious, like you're a child, you're under 20, don't do this. <laughs> I'm joking, but I started off 15, went all the way down to 35, did five reps each. You can do this the other way around as well. Um, so go heavy first, really control the form, and then go up lightly. Um, that way, going from heavy all the way up to light, you're less likely to do like a swinging motion, which I do a little bit of like little cheat curls. Um, in order to grow, it is necessary to have a few reps that are kind of cheat curls. Um, got to, you know what I mean? This, you can't have a spot or anything to keep the form right. But when you're going extremely heavy, you need to do a couple cheat curls. As long as you get like 80% of them strict and try to minimize that momentum, you're good to go. Um, but yeah, if you want to grow, you're going to have to add in a few cheat reps. But yeah, try it the other way around as well. I'm doing that as well. Today I did it. I went heavy first and then I did a light. Um, final exercise, T-bar row. We did 100 kg for five reps. Um, so we did that for four sets, five reps, 100 kg. And today, we did a PB. Today we did 105 kg for seven reps, four sets. So we are making progress, we are building muscle, and we are in a caloric deficit. So. That means the muscles stay in there and this rest day thing the day before i do my upper body session is coming into good use it's it's doing ticks <laughs> i ain't complaining but yeah t-bar row that was the final exercise and i'm here broken man finito there you have it that is the workout hopefully you guys enjoyed this um if you have any questions the comment section is yours um as you can see Different exercise, I didn't do no tricep exercises, if you noticed. Why? Because a lot of these exercises that I was doing, my triceps were being worked um, as a secondary muscle. So there was no need to just give it an isolated, do that enough on my um, push, push session. Um, you know, I, got, I do the dips, tricep push downs. So that's enough for the triceps. Um, but yeah, any questions, the comment section is yours. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting. I will catch you guys next one. Love life. Love life. Love life. Peace.